Hi guys. Um, so um, this is the first video um, that we're making. Um, it'll probably take more than one video to go through um, some material um, that I've um, been learning in a class. Um, um, and um, the app that is used in the class, it's called Aztec Software. And it's mostly um, uh, focused on um, interdisciplinary, but mostly English and literature um, aspects. So the website is https colon double slash nextgen.aztecsoftware.com. My teacher's name is Carla Ramirez. So I've taken notes for the class and I'm gonna go through all the notes. Um, so this is the English portion of the class. There's also a subsequent math section, which I haven't um, learned or studied yet as far as the course goes. So um, um, here we go. Um, literal comprehension, it says, is understanding exactly what you are reading or what the author is actually saying. Inferential comprehension is understanding the abstract meaning or um, what the author means but doesn't say. So inferential. Infer inferential comprehension is understanding what the author means but doesn't necessarily write. The inferences that you make are based on what is said, what is not said, and your own feelings and experiences. Look carefully when making inferences to evaluate their accuracy. To make an inference, read the paragraph or article and think about what you have read. List the facts that are stated. Put together, put together the stated facts with information you know and make an inference so it's a four steps making inferences challenges the mind to work at a higher level it enforces you to uh, bridge the gap between obvious and suggested between stated and unstated so read is number one two list the facts stated three put together the facts with information you know and four make an inference so, um, as well, th there was um, a little side of information we learned about the branches of government. So, the, uh, to ensure a separation of powers, the U.S. federal government is made up of three branches that you need to know, legislative, executive, and judicial. To ensure the government is effective and citizens' rights are protected, each branch has its own powers and responsibilities, each um, and uh, working with, including working with other branches. The legislative branch is made up of House and Senate, known collectively as the Congress. Among other powers, the legislative branch makes all laws, declares war, regulates interstate. Um, and foreign commerce and controls taxing and spending policies. The executive branch consists of the president, his or her advisors, and various departments and agencies. This branch is responsible for enforcing the laws of the land. The judicial branch consists of U.S. Supreme Court and Federal Judicial Center. According to the Constitution, the judicial power of the U.S. shall be vested in one Supreme Court and it's in such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. The Federal Judicial Center is the education and research agency for the federal courts. With, um, so the next section is uh, talking about how to set goals. With clear goals, you can take control of your own ideas and put them into action. In order to set powerful goals, follow these five rules. One, set goals that motivate you, and two, set SMART goals. The best kind of goals are SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. 
Um, so specific means create very detailed specific goals. Measurable means make sure your goals can be measured. Attainable, your goals must be re realistic. Relevant, your goals should be meaningful to you. Time bound, goals should have a specific time frame. You should put your goals into writing. You should create an action plan with smaller goals that you can achieve quickly. And you can stick to your goals, your smaller goals, and don't quit working on your goal. When setting a goal, make sure it is important to your life. There is value in achieving your goal. Your goal relates to your values and priorities. Your goal is worth time and effort. Tip. Frame your goals um, positively. Make sure your goal is realistic. So in summary, when you have de detailed goals, when you have detailed goals, it is easy to see what you need to accomplish concerning um so review your career goals, core values, um, your core work values. Your core values are your fundamental beliefs concerning how and why you do your job. Um, these values reflect your highest priorities as a person. Core values help you understand how you function as a student and as an employee. Turn off negative thinking and um, that prevents you from thinking big or blocks you. Barriers to success are fear of failure. How can you become confident in your goals? Not getting enough rest or working inefficiently. You should um, follow these eight steps. One, create a schedule for each day. Two, break your goals into smaller steps. Three, keep an activity log so you can track your progress. Four, schedule time for breaks and um, interruptions. Five, block out distractions like chat, etc. Six, don't be dissatisfied if your work is not perfect. Seven, learn to say no to unimportant tasks. And eight, clean your workspace at the beginning of each day. I would say at the end. Time management note is things that um, you should note down that you do that wastes time and things you should note down that um, is good well or good time management that um, that you do that manage your time well and things you can do to manage your time better. Um, so important aspects of study skills Study skills are time management, positive study habits, effective reading, and reviewing information. Becoming an effective reader. Effective reading helps us retain information long after we read it. The basics of effective reading are pre-reading, asking yourself questions before you read, active reading, taking note of new terms and new ideas, highlighting and underlining, and note-taking, writing down important activity, um, ideas. So uh, look, looking for context clues or reviewing terms in bold, diagrams, charts, and the text. Summarizing, creating summaries and outlines for later review. Reviewing, reading over all notes, summaries, outlines more than once. Good study habits are not try to do too much studying at one time. Plan specific time for studying. Try to study at the same times each day. Set specific goals for your study times. Start studying when planned. Work on assignments you find difficult first. Review your notes before beginning assignments. Call another student when having difficulty um, with an assignment. Review over weekend. Avoid distractions while studying. Um, so those that's the first section. Um, the next section is literature. Okay, so um, we're going to take a pause and uh, we'll continue in the second part of this series on Aztec software and interdisciplinary material. Um, so the next section, as I said, is literature. And um, thank you. Um, my page is facebook.com. You'll all play. Bye.